In my imagination, Buenos Aires was always a magical, unreachable place of Evita and world-class football and beautiful senoritas dancing tango and gauchos singing wistful songs about the pampa astride handsome caballos. Then, suddenly, four years ago, I was aboard an expedition ship, an icebreaker sailing out of Argentina's southernmost city, Ushuaia, headed for the end of the world, Antarctica, to shoot a documental. I had lived for a decade in the shadow of Yosemite in California's Sierra Nevada and thought I had seen it all, but not even close. Argentina is spectacular. The Andes, Aconcagua, tallest montaña on the continent, Iguazu Falls, twice the width of Niagara. Ushuaia has the Martial Glacier to its north, the Chilean Patagonia to its west, the Canal Beagle, gateway to Antarctica, to its south. In Antarctica, I met hundreds of thousands of penguinos, visited some Argentine research stations, and spent several days in the Malvinas. Some call them the Falklands. After Antarctica, I stopped in Buenos Aires to edit my documentary and see why this city of 14 million was called the Paris of South America. By day, I edited my documentary. At night, I wandered the calles, streets, and I heard and saw tango wherever I went. And I saw beautiful, fit people with normal body sizes. Argentines are not only belleza, beautiful, they are educated and well-read. I counted four librerias, bookstores, and five kioscos, magazine stands, within two blocks of my apartment. The largest book fair in America del Sur is held here. Argentina is loco about football. Americans call it soccer. The front page of the Diario, the daily newspaper, usually carries a photo of yesterday's game. And let's not forget the beef. Argentine bife is the world standard. Amor, like tango, is enjoyed everywhere in Argentina. Argentines love to love and see others expressing their love. An important part of this love stuff is cariño. It means affection. Businessmen greet each other with un abrazo y un beso, an embrace and a kiss, in cafes and on the street, with cariño. People linger for hours over coffee, being cariñoso. Argentines love Argentina. They are apasionado, passionate about their country, about love, about tango, well, <laughs> just about everything. Speaking of apasionado, I didn't just listen to the tango music. I took tango lessons, and that's when the second half of my life really began. I even turned my mountain home into a tango chalet. As I was drawn into the beauty of tango, I became part of a unique culture part of the passion, the amor, the cariño, football, fitness, literacy, and the cafes. Don't forget the beef. It all comes with tango. One acquires a danza, a cultura, and a país, a country. In 2008, UNESCO granted tango world heritage status and declared tango the cultural patrimony of humanity. Wow, I'm part of all that. <laughs>